the slave cylinder off the accord. Well, it's off. I just got to um, unbolt the line that goes to it and take it up to the parts store, get the new one because that one's got warranty on it. And then um, we went ahead and get all those bolts that we need to put the suspension back on the car so we get the accord on the ground. So hopefully in this video, the accord will be on the ground and if all plays out right and I can get every little thing that I need tightened up on it and together, maybe we can do the first drive as well. So we'll go ahead and get to the shop and then go from there. First order of operation. Let's get this line off the slave. So we take it up and get it exchanged. Then we'll come back, slap that on, and then, um, like I said, here's one of the, the bolts that I needed. These are for the backs, so I can go ahead and get that coil over, put on the, the cord. So yeah, um, let's get that off and get to going. All right, so we got the slave cylinder and my breakfast right there. Hey, hey, hey. There's my breakfast, y'all. Woohoo! Yeah, let's go ahead and get up to the uh, parts store and swap this one out. Slave cylinder acquired! And I got some brake fluid. So, let's go ahead and get back to the shop and get this together. Um, actually, I got some wheels back here that I bought for the Volvo. I'll show you guys those in a second. I'm going to stop right down the street right here and see how much they can get me some tires for it. I don't need these monster truck tires that are on it, you know? All right, so we're back at the shop. I had to go back up to the parts store because I forgot to take this part out of the old slave. So I had to go back up there and get this. So let's go ahead and get this mounted up, get this line connected to it and everything, <clears throat> and then see if I can try and bleed it on my own, you know? But yeah, if not, then I'll go ahead and just start putting in the coilover. But yeah, let's get this on. All right, so I was trying to see if I can bleed this by myself like out here, but I can't get it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and install this coil over right here on the car. And then I'm gonna go to the parts and try to get like a vacuum bleeder or something and see if that will help me get some pressure to get it going. All right, so that coil is on, wheel is on. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting the jack and put this car on the ground. So let's lower this baby. Been a long time since it's been on the ground, but I'm excited. So let's go ahead and get it on the ground. Well, the cord is completely on the ground, but what the f is this? Why so high? There's no possible way that these coils up front are maxed out and it's still sitting this dang high. Something ain't right. I don't like that. Mm -mm. But I mean, we'll deal with that later on. But. Dude, the Accord is on the ground, everyone. Like, yeah. No jack stands under the car completely. It is on the ground. I don't know what is up with that. I don't like that at all. But man, look at that pokage. Yep. And those back are maxed out too. Like, something is going on. I don't like it. <clears throat> Gonna make me have to get different coilovers if that's the case. Oh man, yo, the Accord is on the ground. It's been so long since this car's been on the ground. Realistically, if we can bleed this clutch right here, we could probably drive it, to be real. That is crazy. Oh my God. Yo, smash that like button, guys. Like, the Accord is on the ground. It's been over a year since this car's been on the ground on its, on suspension, you know? That's a good sight. I'm excited. We're making moves. So if you have not yet subbed to the channel, what are you waiting on? So much is gonna be going down. You know, the Accord is on the ground. We just gotta bleed that clutch, you know? And then psh, a couple little things here and there, slap the front end back together and everything. And we can get this baby tuned, you know? I got that K-Tune shift box, like I said. The wheels, look, 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 look. We got these wheels here for the Volvo. These tires are not staying on it. I'm, I came with it. But these are going to be on the Volvo. I got um, the adapters on the way. They should be in a couple days um, to convert the car from the 5x108 to 5x114.3. 
So we're gonna put those on the car with smaller tires. Those are probably like the cruise around wheels. Then I'll have all four of the um, stock wheels that came on the car. Plus I have, what, six SEs here that are Julian's that he said I can use for drift spares. So we have enough drift spares. Um, I got fender flares on the way here. They should be here any day now. Today or tomorrow, you know. Um, the car's going tomorrow to get some body work done. All this here is getting fixed and everything. And then we're gonna start doing some body work. And other than that part, I'm gonna have that done somewhere else so they can cut it out and it's done correctly. But we're gonna be sanding this whole car down, getting it ready for paint and everything and all that. The Accord is almost done. We're making moves. And once these cars are done, you know, we can jump on the S10. So we ain't slacking over here. We ain't sleeping. But the only way y'all gonna be able to see that is by smashing that like button and subbing to the channel. So. Come on, just, just do it for me, you know? But yeah, um, let's get this clutch bled out. <clears throat> Alright guys, so I was going to go get the um, vacuum bleeder for this to bleed the clutch and everything in it. But someone's going to come up here in a little bit, help me out with it. So in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I got some seafoam. I want to um, run some seafoam through the vacuum setup. Ooh, windy. Through the vacuum setup with the Volvo. Just trying to clear it up and stuff because I've been having trouble with the injectors, um, stuff like that. They're fouling out plugs and everything. So I ran about half that can, if not more, through the gas tank already. So I'm just going to run some through the vacuum of it and ho hopefully that helps it out and go from there, you know. So let's go ahead and get that done real quick. Woo! Seafoam done. I think it smoked a little bit. Um, didn't smoke as bad as I thought it was going to. I didn't have much left, maybe a quarter of a bottle. But smoked a little bit. Ran a little rough, you know, and then revved it up a little bit and stuff. And drove it around, guided in it some. Man, this thing just lights up the tires, boy. Tell you what. Probably just because the back tires are completely bald, but yeah. Um, I really wish I could do this right now. That'd be pretty cool. Just to move the car forward and back real quick, you know. Uh, yeah. Um, I did call the parts store, though, to see. Because <clears throat> I was just going to go up there anyways and just get it. Just to have one. But they didn't have one in stock and they don't even have a loaner one. So, yeah. But, I don't know. For the most part, the car's on the ground. We got a slave on there. All the coils are on the car. Seafoam, the Volvo. You know, got a little bit of stuff done. Progress is progress. You know how they say and how it goes. Um, I just checked on my phone. Here, I'll check real quick. Um, the parts should be here. One part will be here today, and the other one will be here tomorrow. Let's go on to that good old eBay. Purchases. Woo All right. <clears throat> so, the fender flare says right there. Where's it at? Where's it at? Out for delivery. Woo so, yep. Yeah, those should be here today. And then... The other package will be here tomorrow. So yeah, that's the plan. So we should have these parts here in the next couple of days. And then we can go from there. Who's calling me? I don't know anybody from Michigan. But yeah, <clears throat> so making moves, making moves, making moves. Get it done. So I'm gonna load these wheels from the car. Actually, I'm gonna leave them there so I can get them all mounted at work or something. But yeah. Let's see what we get into. All right, guys, so what I'm going to end up doing, I know, I'm sorry. I'm going to end this video here. Um, and when Julian gets off work and comes up here, we'll go ahead and bleed the clutch and everything and stuff like that and see if we can do the first drive. So, yeah. I mean, I hate to break it up in two videos, but I feel like it'll make you all more excited for the next video, you know? But, that's just what it is, you know? So, I'm going to get this one up and edit it for you guys, post it up, and then we'll come back when he's off and start the next video. We'll go ahead and get the clutch blade and everything, things like that. Button up a few little things, and maybe we'll take it for the first drive. Um, i got to get a belt for the alternator, get that put on and everything, stuff like that. Um, yeah, but... Next video will be the first drive and a couple of little things that need to be done on the car. Um, probably go through all the suspension, make sure everything's good and tight, adjust the coilovers and stuff like that. And yeah, make moves, make moves. 
So go ahead and smash that like button for me, guys. We're getting the shit done, and we'll catch you on the next one. And like always, please like, comment, subscribe, share. Hit that notification button. Catch you on the next one. Peace.